Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tan Butterflies. We are doing another, just our imagination uh, challenge collaboration. And we had some interesting items to work with this month. So the collaboration uh, is hosted by Kathy Jo DIY, Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY, and our guest host is Donna. We had to use, um, our challenge items were a dog leash, that one gave me, yeah, a paintbrush, and a hula skirt <clears throat> from Dollar Tree. Alright, so here I am um, working on one element of one of my projects. I'm using that air dry clay, and I'm just trying to form little cubish um, shapes there. This this air dry clay is kind of rubbery and, and it's not really easy to form. Um, I really struggled with it. So I did a, uh, several of those little cubish shapes. I say cubish because, well, yeah, <laughs> they were tiny and the clay was not very um, workable. So now I'm taking, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm trying to um, roll this out a little bit to cut some little circles out of it. And I just used the cap for my X-Acto knife um, to cut those out. Don't worry, I don't make you watch me cut all of them out. Just this one set. So I'm trying to make those little discs, trying to make like little tiny lemon slices. So you'll see, um, I just kind of had to fix it up a little bit from where the um, cap pinched the edges down. Now these didn't turn out perfect. Uh, I think if I had some clay that wasn't quite so difficult, I probably could have done better, but it was kind of rubbery. So it just kind of kept bouncing back to its form. Um, so now I'm cutting like just little slits in it. And you'll see why in a little bit. I thought I was on the last one. So yeah, I'm rushing to get this uh, video done. Um, because I had a lot of running around to do. So I'm actually editing on the day that the video is due to post. So I took some of the yellow. Um, and it's apple barrel paint, um, the bright yellow or something like that. And I painted around the edge of each of those little slices. I got a little bit crazy with the one. After I got did the edge, I mixed some Mod Podge in with that yellow paint and that lightened it up and made it a little more translucent for like the, the middle of the lemon because you know how the rind is a lot brighter yellow than the middle is. Um, so yeah, that's what I was trying to accomplish there. And I, I didn't go back in and try to put like the little lines in those. Um, I couldn't find anything small enough to do that with without making a mess of it. So, and then I took those little jars that you get, um, I think you get five, five of them, maybe six. I think it's five um, at Dollar Tree. And I took that um, Mod Podge and yellow paint mixture and went along inside the, the jar and just painted all the, you know, all the way around inside up to the lip of the jar. 
this. And don't worry, I don't make you watch me paint all of them. So, with our um, our Just Imagination Challenge uh, collaboration, I will leave the link to the playlist in my description box. I'll leave a the each of the host and the co-hosts links in there as well. It um, it would mean the world to all of us that participate in these. If you go um, watch the playlist, like, subscribe, comment, share, it helps our channels grow and it helps our content be put out to, um, to more people. And I mean, this one's really fun because we, we get, we come up with some crazy things that we have to craft with. But let me tell you, the dog leash on this one just totally threw me. And I just, I, I ended up just randomly putting something together. <laughs> So, anyway, so I took that crate and used some of the uh, Waverly Antique Wax. And as Kathy Joe likes to put it, I did the wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi style. Now I'm adding some dowels to the back. And I'm kind of rolling it into the glue where um, it, that helps me kind of make sure I get it lined up right. And then, um, what am I doing with the white paint? Oh, um, oh, okay. So I've got like this real tiny thin dowel. I'm painting it uh, white. And then I'm going to go around it with a yellow spiral. And you'll see what I'm doing with that in a minute too. Or at least what the end result is supposed to be. So we've got, we, we've been having some pretty decent weather here. It's been between 75 and in the lower eighties, which is, that's my sweet spot. I like it warm, but I don't like it. You know, you walk out the door and you melt warm. So chime in, let me know how the weather is in your neck of the woods. I'm curious to, to know, uh, if we're all finally getting some summer weather or, or if there's other uh, places that are still getting the, the cooler temperatures. So now you see I'm just taking and doing the yellow spiral around here and I'm not going to make you watch me do that because it took me forever. Um, this is where when I was doing nails I had a striping brush, a long one, that would have been perfect for that. So now I'm taking my little lemon slices and I'm gluing them to the edges of the, the little jars. I had to split them open again because um, as the clay dried, it kind of formed back. It was, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that, that particular air dry clay. I got it at Dollar General. I think it's the Art Skills brand. It's just really rubbery and not easy to work with. I'm used to when you're working with clay, if you roll it, you, you know, it rolls out. But this stuff just kept trying to bounce back to what it was. I was not happy with it. But it was what I had, so I worked with it. Let's put like just this ever so tiny dab of hot glue on the uh, edges of the bottles. So. Now I'm taking and as you can see, I am filling my little jar with hot glue and I've got, I had some yellow hot glue sticks. I didn't have enough to, to fill it and it actually would have, it would have worked just fine with just the, since I painted the inside. I could have used just the regular hot glue and not had to worry about using the yellow, but I tried to use the yellow, so there we have it. And that's what we're doing with the, the little skewer there, um, or the little tiny dowel. Um, I do cut it off. I don't leave it that tall. Now I took some of these little wooden discs that I got in a multi-pack at Hobby Lobby, 
and I'm edging those with the with that bright yellow as well and I will paint the insides with the um, lighter yellow and then these I do put the details in with, uh, of the lemon sections I don't make you watch me do all of that either so because it was kind of tedious um, and then I put 25 cents on the bigger one now I'm taking some twine and wrapping it um, around the first dowel and I'm stretching it between the two and then I'll wrap it around the other one as well just taken I put a dab of glue back there to hold it in place and then wrap and then glue it I hate those glue strings they're just a mess and then I take and burn off the fuzzies. I had some really wild fuzzies on that string. And I just flip this over so that I can get those laid on there. And then as much as I tried not to stick it to my mat, I stuck it to my mat. You see, I picked it up there after I put it. But then by the time I got done with the other two, the hot glue had run just enough to stick to the mat. So just beware if you do something similar. I got it up off of there without an issue. I reinforced it on the back on each of those. And there we have it. And here is where, oh wait, nope, not yet. Almost, we're almost aware. Challenge item number one, the hula skirt comes in. I took um, these other one, the other three that I had of the lemon slices that I painted and put it on the front. I will end up putting um, like fresh squeezed lemonade on the um, above and below that, but I could not get to my silhouette at the time to cut those out and I couldn't find any letter stencils. and my free hand is is not very good uh, as you could see from the 25 cents i was like mm, yeah no that's that's gonna happen <laughs> so i once i get where i can get to it i'll um put fresh squeezed lemonade on the the front of the stand as well and see you can see here I just kind of i didn't want to glue them down on the thing because i want to give the freedom um to be able to move them around Put other stuff on there um, to go on a tier tray. So now we're on to DIY number two. <clears throat> I printed off, um, I took two of those square planks uh, from Dollar Tree and um, I had printed off two square um, graphics and I'm going to take, I took and put Mod Podge on both of the wooden uh, planks, let it dry, and then um, this is where I realized that I did not quite size that well enough. So I ended up going back in and I forgot to do it before I took all the photos, but I did go in and um, distress these with um, Waverly antique wax just to kind of help blend the white edges in there because like I said I didn't get it quite sized and at this point it was uh, I think about midnight I was ready to be done because I had just too much I had 
a lot going on last week and I just procrastinated the heck out of this particular um, challenge because that that dog leash I just could not I could not come up with something to do with it so I kept procrastinating I could have done some of I could have at least done the first project instead of waiting till last minute oh bless it my 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 lovely little husky's having a sneezing fit so sorry if you can hear her in the background so then I took um, Mod Podge and sealed those real um, in and here's where the paintbrush comes in and when I was doing the the little jars I had switched out my hot glue for the you know yellow and I pulled one of the hot glue sticks out and you can see it's narrower on the end yeah so you'll see here in a little bit where I have to fight with that <laughs> when it gets to that point on that glue stick um, I have to actually push it with my hand until it gets past that narrow part and then um, I'm taking some of the hot glue and just running it where it looks like the paint is dripping down and I'm trying my best to get through this voiceover before my dog goes nuts deciding I have to go out right now so hopefully we'll get through this and I won't have to stop the voiceover go let her out and then start all over again so here's see you'll see I'm struggling um, but here's where the dog leash comes in and with this particular um, project I just I could not think of anything to do and then I thought well you know that hook would be in you know something that you could hang stuff on you know and I got thinking I went and the graphics came after I came with the idea of what I was going to do with this for the the create and the um, all of that believe it or not this actually ended up coming to mind because I noticed when I watch Kathy Joe's videos that she's got like a key ring with a bunch of little uh, fobs on it that are probably control for her cameras and stuff like that when she's filming right well I don't know any crafter whose craft room does not turn into a disaster occasionally so I, I did this and I was like that would be a neat little thing you know if you had stuff like that that you use regularly but could get lost in them you know so I figured this would be a cute little thing to hang in a craft room and be able to hook something like that on or you know you could hook keys on it whatever whatever works this is just one of those projects that you know sometimes we get we get the thrown some interesting objects to work with and we just got to make the best of them <laughs> so here I, I probably would have been better off using agave and I may go and um, paint over it with agave but this is the malachite by Waverly so I'm using that for the I thought that it would looking through the bottle it looked like it would match the leash better than the agave but I think agave is probably going to be a better option but by the time I got to this point it was 1 30 in the morning and I was like okay I'm committed I'm going to finish it with this if I have to go touch it up later with a different color I will but at this point I was just ready to be done and go to bed so but I'm taking I used the bigger cinnamon stop I used the bigger paintbrush to start with and then got my finer detailed brush in there um, to get you know around the, the edges where I didn't make a mess out of the um, the board so I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers when I do I'm gonna have a giveaway 
I received free all of these craft supplies that are in here. Um, this isn't my shed. I still have a bunch of these that I have to go pick up, but I have to organize what I have. I'm sharing the wealth with y'all. So like, subscribe, comment, share, and help me get to those thousand likes. And here's the final reveal with my little lemonade stand and see in there I put those little cubey things were supposed to be ice cubes and you can only see them from the top, but they're still cute. So thanks y'all for watching and I hope you have a great day.